Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadgetax. And today I'm going to show you how to set your volume level to change on a schedule. Now when you're at work or school, you need your ringtone and notification volume turned down. But when you're driving home, it needs to be up so you can hear it over the road noise. Some phones have settings that let you schedule quiet times and things like that, but not every phone. And you could probably do something with Tasker to automate your volume levels based on whatever context. But that's a little too involved for such a simple job. Well, that's where a new app from developer Yagish Dama comes into play. It lets you set schedules for each of your volume levels to where they'll turn up and down on certain days at certain times, and it makes it really easy to do. The app itself is called Volume Scheduler, and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. But when you first launch the app, you'll be greeted by a setup guide. You can go ahead and read through this to learn more, but I'll skip ahead. Then once you make it to the main menu, start by making sure the main toggle switch at the top of the screen is enabled. Next, you'll see two preset volume profiles already waiting on you. You can use the plus button at the bottom of the screen to add more if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and just edit the existing ones. To do that, just tap a profile, then press the edit button on the little pop-up. Now from here, things should be pretty straightforward. You can change the name with the field at the top, and you can change volume levels by tapping this volume profile field. This lets you set individual volume levels for when your profile is active. But note that with some phones, things like ringtone and notification volumes are tied together, so you might not be able to set them independently. Aside from that, you can even pick a custom ringtone and notification sound for when this profile is active. Then beneath that, you can set the activation time and days of the week. This is when your volume profile will kick in, basically. Now one last thing to check out while you're in here is the show pop-up option. With this enabled, volume won't change automatically at the preset time and day, and instead you'll see a pop-up asking if you'd like to set the profile. I'd personally rather have this change the volume automatically, and if you would too, just make sure to disable that show pop-up option. Aside from that, just repeat the same process for your home profile, but of course make sure to set the volume levels higher for that one if you want. Once you've done that though, you're all set up and ready to go. From now on, your volume should automatically change to the preset levels when your profile kicks in. Then it'll change to the second profile when the time comes for that one. So basically, you can have your volume levels muted automatically during work hours, then have them turn back up when you're at home. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.